Hello, this will be a quick tutorial on how to create trusses in Revit. Before we start creating the truss, we need to place two columns on which we will place our truss. So you type in CL, this is shortcut for truss. You go here, you select height. You go here, you select level 2. So, now we place our first column over here. We place the second one over here. We hit escape a couple of times. Now we zoom in and we need to create a reference plane. A shortcut is RP, you zoom in, you click anywhere on this column and you click here. Now you hit escape a couple of times, you stretch this out a little bit, you cl click here and you type in a name. I'll call this one truss. And now I will also go here and put fine so I can see my column better. Now we can create the truss, but we need to go to level 2, again, we'll go here, click fine, we can see our column a bit better. Now I'm gonna go here on structure, and I'm gonna hit truss. We don't have trusses loaded, so we're gonna load one. You scroll down, you find structural trusses, you click on the first one and you use arrows to scroll down. I don't like any of these, but down here I found one I like, I hit open. Now I zoom in, select this as first point, I zoom out, zoom in, select this as second point, and we've got our truss. I hit escape, and now we think we're done. We go to 3D, and it looks like shit. So this isn't going to work, because I can, nothing is connected, everything is ugly, so I need to go to south elevation. You go to south elevation, but everything is in lines. So now you need to go here and click fine. Now, first thing, we need to attach this column up to this truss. So you select this column, you control, uh, you click control, select this column, and you go here for the top offset. And I calculated that this should be 106.5, so I'm gonna write that in and apply, but this is millimeters, so this is 165 apply and it looks good on both sides now you zoom in you put your mouse over this truss and you hit tab now you select this one you unpin it you stretch it over here you stretch it over here now you put your cursor over this one you hit tab select it unpin it stretch it down here stretch it up here. Now we're going to use cope tool to cope this thing. So I go CP, that is shortcut. First you select the one you want to cope and then the one you want to cope with. See, now it looks good. Again, hit this one, then this one. Looks good. Again, this one, then this one. Do the same with this thing. And now we need to repeat that for all of all these other ones. Now once we cope everything, everything looks good, now you go to 3D view and it all looks nice, you find a nice view and you go here, you click ray trace and now it looks like it's made of steel. So that's how you create good looking trusses in Revit. Thank you for, for watching, have a nice day and please subscribe.